Good morning. Today is shoot day. So I just woke up. I threw my clothes on from yesterday. Same outfit, everything. I don't think I'm even going to put makeup on. I'm going to put rain boots on, get my gear ready, and go out and shoot some properties. But I have to show you before I get started what I get to wake up to in the morning. I slept here with Weston last night. And when I roll over, this is what's looking at me. Let me get this view out the window. Oh, it's so pretty. There's trees as far as the eye can see. And over here we have this really fun patio on the other side. So I'm going through and trying to get the cabin picked back up like it was when we first arrived. Um, and I'm going to come in and shoot this a little bit later when the sun's a bit brighter. But I thought I would take you guys along for a little vlog today and I will show you the property as I'm shooting and you can see some of the cabins and I thought that might be fun. Maybe for your sake I should put on a little bit of makeup because I'm sure this isn't going to be fun to be looking at all day. So maybe I will put a tiny bit of makeup on just for you. So you're welcome. Y'all, I just recorded a crap ton of stuff. Like I just did it again. Auto focus though. I just retorted. Retorted? I just retorted. I just recorded a crap ton of stuff coming down to this property. And then I realized <clears throat> I had my camera in manual focus and it was all blurry. So wah, wah, we're going to have to redo all of that. No big deal. Anyways, I'm at the first property that I'm going to be starting at. This one is called Lone Cedar Cabin, I believe. And it is precious. We have not stayed in this one before, but I did get to take a tour of it last time I was here um, visiting. It's so cute. So as I'm working through each property, I'll kind of show you the land around the property and we'll take, I'll take you on a tour inside the property and then I'm going to take a ton of pictures because that's what I'm here to do. So um, these properties are owned um, by the sweetest people. They are so kind and they do something really cool. They go and take down old houses and keep the good stuff and they hunt for all kinds of awesome things and they use what they find to construct their cabins which if you really think about it how neat that is not only does it look neat but they um they can't just go to like home depot and say i need a piece of lumber x size they have to construct with things they already have so they have to make their design work with pieces they may have five feet of this and six inches of that whatever they have to make it work with the look they want with what they already have on hand which i think that's a bit genius right uh look at those big windows so pretty so this is the side of the property. I, I love, love, love the property around this cabin. It's really good for kids. Nice flat land. You have the awesome trees. You're just surrounded by trees everywhere on this property. So you get some good shade in the summer, I bet. Um, it's little fire pits over here, a picnic table. And then this is the end of their property per se. I think they have some more land back there, but nobody's really ever on it. So if you were to rent, Nobody's going to be driving by you right here. If anybody drives down this part of their property, it's going to be you because that's all that's down here. So that's there. And then over here, there's a little creek that runs right down here in the bottom. And then they have this really awesome porch. This is the back porch. So pretty. Let me take you to the front and kind of show you that again. I say again, you didn't see the first time because again, my camera wasn't focused. So we're doing this again. Okay, this beautiful tree. So down this road is where we're staying. They have three properties. They have this cabin. They have the one that we're staying in, which I'll show you later, and they have a camper. They also have another cabin they're working on. It's not finished yet. You can kind of see the, the roof right there through those trees just a little bit. That's the unfinished one. So here is the, this is the other side, and here's the front right here. Lone Cedar Cabin. Okay. Okay, I'm done with this one. With the exterior. I still need to do the inside, but I'm waiting for the sun to come out a little bit more. Um, I'll be a bit higher in the sky, so I get some more light through the windows. Oh, this is just um, having so much fun. Just being out here by myself with nothing but trees and a cute quaint cabin around me photographing this property and hearing the bugs and the birds and um, there's a woodpecker around here. Oh, it's just the best. The best. I can also hear Carson screaming every now and then. <laughs> Kent's watching the boys and I think they're out playing and I don't know what happened but they're pretty far from where I am and for me to be able to hear him all the way down here. 
he's a loud guy. He's a little bit loud. All right, we're going over to um, their little camper. I'm gonna flip you around so that you can see it. Oh, the light, like I just get these little pockets of light um, popping through the trees and the clouds. Oh, it's just so pretty, so, so pretty. All right, so can you see the camper right there? That is our next stop. Okay, I'm at my next spot, right here. Can you see it? Ah, there it is, this camper. So this is what I'll be taking pictures of next. Again, I'm not going inside anything just yet because the sun's not high enough, but I'll take you around and show you the outside of it. Focus camera, there we go. She's really cute and has a lot of character and it's a perfect size for a couple, maybe even a couple with a small baby. Um, and not only does it have the camper, but it has a little grill. And this right here is an outdoor shower, which is fun. And then over here, they have a fire ring. So, excuse me, I think it'd be fun to kind of to get this and come out for a weekend with a bag of books and just sit out here, drink some coffee, and have some alone time and read, read, read. I would love to do that. I might have to add that on my to-do list someday. Someday, camper, you and I are going to meet again. And also, cute little cabin down there, you and I are going to meet again too. Okay, I'm going to get started taking pictures of this little one, and then I've got one more outdoor uh, cabin to take pictures of. Okay, another cabin down. So I just finished uh, taking pictures of the exterior of this cabin. This is the one that we're staying in. This is also the one that we stayed in last time we were out visiting. I'll back up a little bit so I can show you the front of it. Just like the others, really cute, with lots of character and charm. I love this one too. What am I talking about? I love all of them. As you can tell, every time I pull my camera, I'm talking about how much I love these cabins. So, a fun little fire pit, a little table to eat at. They have a grill over there. This porch is so cute. I'll have to take you over there and show you. Um, this one has an outdoor shower as well. And then, just like all the other properties, it's just surrounded in thick, lush trees. And the property owners, the geniuses behind these cabins, live right up there. Which is kind of nice because if you need something or something's going on, um, they're right there. You can get in touch with them and they'll come on over and do whatever. So there's that. Let's go look at the porch. Kent is on a walk with the boys. And I am about to go in and try to take some pictures of the interior. Okay, here's the porch. Right, 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 so cute. Look at this door, I love this door. Remember earlier when I said, or did I say this, that I could spend a day at each property just photographing stuff? I could, because there's just so much character and awesome awesomeness to take pictures of. Little checkers, and then you can just see trees all around you all around and this room is where I slept and that's where I showed you at the very beginning of the vlog out the window this is what we were looking out on all right so since I'm gonna start taking pictures of the interior of this property I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what the inside looks like before I get started I don't have the lights turned on yet so let me get some of the lights turned on so that you can see a little bit better in here All right, here's the living room. Super cute, right? I love the walls. I don't know what's called, like the wood planking on the walls and the tin in the kitchen. Here's the precious kitchen. We still have some of our stuff out I need to pick up before I take pictures. And this door takes you out to the porch we were just out on. The boys watched the rascals for the first time, the little rascals, and they loved it. They watched the whole thing, even Carson. They were laughing. That was one of my favorites when I was a kid. There's this really cool little desk nook over here. She has lots of books and games for kids and coloring books. And this really neat record player with some good stuff in here. I meant to bring some of our records so I could play those, but I forgot. But if you come and visit and you are a vinyl fan, bring some because you have something to play it on. And then here we go. So this is the hallway. This splits into two bedrooms. This is the smaller of the two. We'll start in here first. So uh, they have a pack and play for you. That's where Carson slept. And then we just put all of our overnight stuff in there so I can cart this around as I'm photographing the rooms. 
Kent slept in here with Carson last night. And then here is a little wash area. And ooh, the wrong light. This one. The potty and awesomeness all over the walls. Shower. And they have so many really cute things. I mean, hello. The whole place is cute. The whole place is full of, full of charm. But they even take it a step farther and put things like this in the property. In the property. In the cabin. It's a sliding barn door. How cool is that? And it's all made with old refurbed wood. And look at this up here on top, the rail or whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I'm doing a great job with my terminology for what what everything is, but you get the point. So there is that room, and we're going to go across the hall to the room I stayed in. I love the patina on this door. So pretty. Got my light over there. I need to move that. I'm going to be using that when I'm shooting inside because it's a bit darker still inside. The, the um, sun's not really where I want it to be, but I think it'll be okay. The boys love this tree, and if you look up in the tree, there's a little squirrel hiding up in there, and there's a funny story behind that squirrel. So if you ever come and stay in these cabins, ask them to tell you the story behind the tree and the squirrel. And this really cool ladder takes you all the way up to a little loft up here. There's a bed. I think it might be a full, but I don't quote me on it. We haven't used it yet, but we have gone up to check it out, and it's pretty comfy up there. I think there's a little light. Uh, there's a little AC vent up there, a window. Oh, yeah, here's the light right here. And then this this little rail. I don't know why I keep calling it everything. This little this, this little that. Anyways, this rail right here. It's not little. It's actually very big, but it's pretty. Isn't it pretty? And another barn door. So cool. So that takes you into the bathroom. Oh, there we go. Let me turn the light on. There is the bathroom, the shower, the tub, the potty, and me. Hello. <clears throat> And these handles, like look at the handles on the doors. It was so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna set up all of my stuff. I'm gonna have to use my light that I showed you. I'm gonna get that set up. I don't wanna start taking pictures of the inside and you straighten up a little bit in here. Um, but I'm gonna get this one taken care of. We're gonna go to lunch and then after lunch, I'm gonna take care of the other properties as well. So fingers crossed that the weather keeps playing nice because it's supposed to rain today, but I need as much light as possible. So you guys keep your fingers crossed for me. And um, I might let you, Hang out while I'm taking some pictures so you can kind of see what's all going to go down. We're having a little cow pit stop. Look at how pretty they are. Aren't they pretty, Weston? I like their big noses. What do you like about them? Their eyes. They do have pretty eyes. What do you like about these cows, Cars? Their ears? They do have cute ears. Oh, that one's showing us his booty. Bye, cows. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Look over there, it's so pretty. We're going into town to get lunch, and our GPS is taking us down some pretty interesting roads. Oh, look at the big black birds out there. Okay, we're done with lunch. I have a delicious coffee. They did so good. It's hot, super hot, so I can sip it. And it's really good, if I didn't already say that. Hey, in case you didn't know, this coffee's really good. Carsey's calling me. What's up, Carsey? Yeah, Mama's got glasses on, that's right. You see him? This guy over here is playing. Yeah, today Weston learned about um, goosebumps. What did you learn about Goosebumps, Weston? <laughs> he actually cried at lunch because I told him the longer he has Goosebumps, he's gonna turn into a goose. And he, he cried really loud at lunch. <laughs> 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 
We're heading back to the cabin and we're taking a beautiful scenic drive. I don't really think it's quote unquote intended to be a scenic drive, but everything out here is just so pretty. Oh my gosh. Sorry, loud. Tall trees. Beautiful land. Look out Kenty's window. He's got um, a wannabe mountain out there. It's a mountain for us when you're in Texas. Everything that's tall is a mountain. We saw some cows. Weston, what did that cow do? It turned around and showed you your booty. It's booty, and what did, what did it do? What did it do when it showed you its booty? Pee -pee. It peed, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I was thinking it was gonna be pretty clouded, clouded on it, pretty cloudy the rest of the day. Pretty cloudy <laughs> <laughs> And I wasn't gonna be able to shoot anymore, but if it looks like this, I might I might need to finish her up today. What do you think? I think, so I, I, I think it's just wise to get it out of the way. Get her done, get her done, get her done. And then we can kind of enjoy the rest of our stay without me having to worry about lighting and all that kind of stuff. So I charged all my gear and stuff whenever we left, and I think I'm probably gonna get myself all geared back up and go back out and do some more shooting after I finish this little pretty right here. Look at it, look at it, so pretty. Weston, what are you? All right, I'm inside the camper. I just finished taking pictures of this place. And to be honest with you, because it's so small, I really thought that I was just gonna fly through these interior pictures. But it's just so awesome. It's full of so much charm, just like everything else in the property. But this is different, and I'll show you why in a second. And I had a hard time trying to figure out how to get it all into the pictures while working in a small space, and it was a really fun challenge, and I really enjoyed it. So far, everything I've taken pictures of out here, I'm gonna have to say this is probably one of my most favorite things that I've shot, just because it has so many really neat pieces in it that are, they're personal to Dawn. So Dawn is one of the property owners. This camper was passed down, I believe from her grandparents. It could be her grandfather or something like that to her and it's been her family for a really long time and what she's done with it is really awesome she's fixed it up so that you can rent it it's very affordable to rent overnight and she's giving you that patio in the front so you can hang out out there there's a fire pit there's the outdoor shower but then you have all the comfort inside here there's even a tv with a dvd player and a vcr a microwave a cook stove and everything is original which is so cool to think about how long this has been with her and her family how special this is to her and so i just really wanted to make sure that i did this place just like all the other ones justice um, but it was a little bit trickier because it's a smaller space to work in but I really enjoyed the challenge so I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the camper and show you why I love it so much when you walk into the camper here's what you're gonna see there's some stairs down here they take you on up into the inside here is the kitchen I love this how cool is this stove I mean, really, and she was showing me last night, we were in here chatting, and she was showing me how this exhaust works. I'm not really sure how she did it, but I think you just do something like that, and it opens, and then takes whatever you're cooking, it blows everything out. So, that's all original. This is original, I believe. And then the original frigid air. How cool, and it still works. Oh, I love it. So neat. And then all of this pink... I think she called it for Malka. I forget what it's called, but this is all original to the camper too. And everything is just in such good condition. So um, this countertop is here, and then it's also over here on this little table. And it's just, there's just a really cool nook over here. These little benches to sit and hang out. She has a bunch of really neat books over here. DVDs, VHS, games, and the view. Check out those trees, just wrapped around all around the camper. Every window has a beautiful view. And then when you turn around, here's the bed. And the bed's super comfy. I've been sitting on it a little bit while I've tried to get some angles of the different stuff in here. And I love this light. Let me get you a little bit closer so you can see the detail on it. So pretty. And I bet you this is original too. I didn't ask her, but I bet you it is. And in here, so the bathroom, little toilet, this is flushable. And hello, a shower. I mean, seriously, if it's just you and your hubby and you want a cheap little getaway for the weekend, 
what do you do? This is perfect. You don't need more and you don't have to break the bank to kind of have a fun little weekend to yourselves. And again, like I said earlier, I think this would be a really good place for me to come and just chill, kind of have some mama free time, you know, just come out, clear my mind, enjoy the scenery. Love this. Oh, she was showing me last night all these really neat features. So this is a little towel drying rack. And then all this hardware on the countertops. Just so pretty. Little tray to cut on. She has everything all ready to go in the cabin. So there's silverware, plates, all that kind of stuff is already ready in here for you. All that up here. Cups. Perfect. I don't know, I love this place. I hope I get to come back here and visit and stay the stay in this one. I think I'd really like it. And then here's the view from the porch when you step right on out. I'm all done with the camper. The light it just changed on me all of a sudden like that and it started to rain just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna hustle it real quick up this road and go into the last cabin that I need to take pictures of on the inside. You're gonna love this one as well, just like all the other ones. I know, I know, I keep saying that, but they really are that awesome. And after I get done photographing that one, I'll pick the camera up again, I'll take again a little tour, and then I'll be done. I'll be done with all of my property photos, but then I also need to do some uh, lifestyle of the boys and us that I'm going to include it with Dawn's package and some property pictures as, um, as well she has some really great stuff a bridge a tree like a little rope swing that's out in the woods little creeks running through so I need to make sure I document that for her as well so let's go get started here's the trail we're gonna go up the other cabin is right up there okay I'll see you guys in a little bit okay I'm all finished this one right here so pretty is this one my favorite I don't know I'm not sure I think it's my favorite. I feel like I've said that about every single property that I've photographed for Don and Gabe, but oh, wait till you see. You're gonna know. You're gonna know why I love this one so much. Wait a second, and you'll get it. But here's the front. I've already kind of showed you around the outside of this one. And let's go ahead and check out the inside. Whenever <clears throat> we go in here, I spend a lot of time inside photographing. Um, this property so I think I was probably inside here for about an hour hour and a half and even though I had spent so much time and I've been in here three other previous times I've kept finding things that I didn't realize when I was here before because Don pays attention to all those little details I'm a detail person myself and I appreciate that I appreciate the um, the eye to do things like that and it just kind of adds to the overall look of a place like this so everything that you see in this cabin kind of has a little cool cork to it. Like uh, this tree branch is holding a light fixture. And this fun table, I'm assuming it's vintage, right? It looks vintage to me. Look at the legs down there. So cool. Over here, they have records, record player, cassettes, games, all kinds of fun stuff over here. Down below, there's some blocks. Our cabin has a little old Lincoln log set, and it's really fun. The boys have a blast playing with that, so it's kind of cool that she includes stuff like this in her cabins for the kids. A little writing area. And these chairs. Oh my gosh, I love these chairs. I'm gonna have to ask her if these are vintage because I love these. Let me show you the mate to it. This one right here. Super mid-century modern, right? I don't know if they're remakes or if they are vintage. Knowing Don, they probably are. They're so pretty. This pretty coffee table. This couch, which I believe folds out into a bed. And these windows, wait till you get a look at this. They go on and on and on and on and on. They let in the most beautiful light. And you have that amazing view of the trees on the outside. Over here, she has some VHS tapes, some DVDs, a TV, and a fireplace. The other cabin that we're seeing in has a setup just like this. And like at the window, see the curtain balance? So she has the curtain hanging on a fishing rod, a fishing pole, whatever you want to call it. See what I'm saying? Detail, y'all. Detail. I love this. And then she has some walking sticks in there. Really cute. Let me take you to the kitchen before we go to the bathroom. 
Here's the kitchen. I love the cabinets. And then, I didn't notice this last time and I've been in here so many times. This is a sled. And she turned a sled into a little shelf for her kitchen, for her, um, her blah, 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 what are these called? Towels and paper towels. How smart is that, right? And throughout this one, she has all kinds of really cool vintage artwork that have a bit of a cabiny vibe to it. Oh, my red light's flashing. I better hurry because I gotta show you this place before it dies. I love these coffee cups. They're so pretty. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, oh, you gotta see the bathroom. I'm just gonna try to move a little bit faster so this doesn't die before I finish. Look at this for the toilet paper. And this over here, it's a bit dark in here right now. The sun's starting to go down. And I love the shower. So cute. She carried the tin all the way around, framed it with this really cool old wood. The tin is up here too. And this was something else I didn't realize last time I was in. But it looks like they're old, maybe magazine covers. And they all have something to do with outdoors so I guess they're all outdoor life really cool and then a little storage over here with some blankets and games I love this mirror okay sorry I'm talking so fast but I'm about to die a battery we're gonna go upstairs here's one of those things that I didn't realize um, of all the times that I've been up and down these stairs this is let me see if I can get to focus this is an old ruler it's not showing it's a bit dark let's go up one more can you see <gasps> It's a ruler. How cool is that? And then on the stairs, they lined it up with this really neat rope. Oh, you can probably see it better here. The light's a little bit better. There you go. So these go all the way up. There's another window right here. Again, every window has a view. I love this dresser. And the loft has a nice comfy bed. And look down this. Down at this. You get to see all of this from in here. So pretty. And again, those windows, they carry all the way up to the second floor. Oh, I think, I think we might have to rent this one next time we're out because of this. I mean, like, right? It's just awesome. I love how open this bottom part is. So it'd be really good for the boys. They would have room to kind of run around. Um, and then Kent can sleep on the couch with Carson and I can sleep up here with Weston since he's a little bit older. It'd be safer for him. Okay, let's go down to... The patio, you guys have to see the back porch. This door, super cute. Look at this. Oh, Wonderland. All the way around, beautiful trees. There's a creek. Um, I could hear it running this morning. Right down here, you see that? The water kind of trickles down those rocks and then goes down this way. And then the other cabin they're working on finishing is that little tiny roof right up there that you can see. It's actually a larger cabin, it's not little at all, but you can just see a little patch of the roof right there. Look at this beautiful bench with this nice age detail. I love that table. And then some cool chairs. Even the broom, right? Even the broom adds to the aesthetic. She, you know, obviously I've seen her sweeping with that, so she uses it, but it's just cute and charming, and it's got a little, you know, age to it, and I love it sitting out here. I even left it there. I didn't move it for the picture, because I think it just adds to the whole fill of the patio. Here are these chairs. I love this pillow. And then here is the view from the side. That's a shower over here. And I already showed you all this stuff last time. So there it is. Okay guys, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun day for me. I got to do something I've been wanting to do for a while. I photograph cabins every time that we stay in them. We do ca we do cabin reviews on our blog, um, but to be invited to come back out and bring my family and um, stay and have a little vacation and photograph for somebody else, it's pretty special to me. So this was a, was a you know pretty exciting day and I really enjoyed every second of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. The ca the battery is almost done. I'm going to go let Kent have a little break. He's been taking care of the boys all day while I've been out here shooting. And I started in the morning. I took a little break for lunch, and the sun's starting to go down. So it's been a full day. Um, I can't wait to get back in town and get started on pictures. 
and I probably will pick the camera up again before we head home so hopefully there will be another vlog for you guys to watch. If you are new to our channel we'd love to have you subscribe. If you happen to be a cabin owner and you're stumbling on this vlog we would love to come out and document your property as well. Um, I have information on how to get a hold of me down below. You can also visit hangingwiththehueys.com and contact me via our blog. Um, but we'll be seeing you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great night or day, afternoon, whenever you're watching. I'll leave you with this.